there was one question in my channel how can we declare the valency of dichromate today i'm going to tell you uh, one of the method probably this is one of the easiest method to declare the valency of dichromate okay for this i want to start with this this is uh, the formula of dichromate cr2o7 it consists of two chromium atoms combined with seven oxygen atoms chromium is d block element but oxygen is p block element that's why we have a little problem to understand about the chromium is a valence electron so uh, i want to uh, show you this also this is of our principle according to this principle we'll fill up the electrons in different subsets of cell different cell in this order this is the order of filling up of electrons there are other also we need this much only not more than that okay now if i fill electrons in different soft cells of the chromium there are altogether 24 electrons chromium atomic number is 24 that's why i have to fill up 24 electrons in different soft cells of different cell first i'll fill this first subcell first cells s subcell it, it contains two and second cell s subcell contains two second cell p subcell it holds six and and a stone of third cell third cell s subcell holds two and a stone of third cell p subcell six and now a stone of four cell and s sub cell 2 now I, I want to count it should not be greater than 24 we are filling up 24 6 plus 2 plus 2 10 6 plus 2 plus 2 10 altogether we have 20 here now 4 are left whose turn is now now is turn of 3d after 4 is 3d that's why under 3d d can hold 10 electrons that's why remaining 4 electron uh, uh, fills up this d sub cell now D subcell is not filled completely with electrons. In the same way, this outermost cell 4, 4 cell is the outermost cell. It is not uh, fulfilled with the electrons. And D subcell also has got 4 electrons. And that's why, what can we say? There are 6 unpaired electrons in what chromium? So, if there are 2 atoms of chromium in this dichromate, and each of them contains six unpaired electron then altogether we have 12 unpaired electron extra electron and in case of oxygen we know that its, it's configuration is this its configuration is like this oxygen atomic number eight First orbit holds two, second orbit holds six. It's very C, very easy. We don't have to go through this SPDF rule also. It means outermost cell contains six. And if here we have two more electrons, then it forms octet. But two electrons are lacking in each of the oxygen atom. And there are seven oxygen atom, each of them requires two electron to fulfill their outermost cell it means all together uh, 14 electrons are needed to fulfill the outermost cell but here we have 12 electrons extra in the chromium that's why if we reduce this 12 electron i mean to say it, chromium supplies 12 electron to oxygen and so if we reduce this 12 then how many electrons are left two electrons are left i mean to say two electrons are still required by this dichromate to ful fulfill the outermost cell that's why this radical its valency is declared as what two we can declare its valency as two because it requires two electron more to fulfill its uh, its outermost cells okay this way we can declare the valency of dichromate probably this is one of the easiest method to declare the valency of dichromate okay this was for today